Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome to Anno 1404 Venice. Uh, so we're going to quickly start a new Relax continuous game here. Settle a peaceful world. And I think we're going to go for a medium game. Find your game. own place in a big world. And start game. So Anno 1404 Venice is pretty much uh, an updated version of the Anno 1404 game, uh, which is based on city building or kingdom building and trading with other cultures. So we're just gonna load a new world here. And I really like the artwork on the loading screens in this game actually. It's pretty pretty nice. Uh, I think it's a relatively old game. Not sure how old. <coughs> Made by uh, Ubisoft, um, along with their other Anno games. Invite computer players. To press C button when you have a base of operations dangling from your cursor ready for construction, as you to camouflage it before construction. Oh, it's useful to remember. <coughs> you can adjust the size of the waypoint and ship windows in the routing menu to gain a better overview of goods transported in your ship. <laughs> forecast the weather. I've never actually managed to get a whole uh, a hang of the routing menu. There we go, set sail. <coughs> so let's begin. You can use this ship to find a new homeland. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll even sail it into oriental waters. Thank you. Uh -huh. Welcome. Welcome. I'd be delighted to trade with you. Um, I don't think, well we've got some gold, but I think we want to start and see. I haven't played this in a while, um, uh, by just navigating to a new area of land. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm pretty sure we want to do this. There we go. And <coughs> we want to try and navigate to an area of land that we can make our own. Though we might actually... Oh no, my set an island first, okay. So we'll try and find some land. Find an unin uninhabited island down here. You have sighted new land. Yeah, uh, let's try and find somewhere we can pull up. Dock our ship. Over here it looks nice. Now on this island we have uh, stone deposits, brine deposit, coal deposit, iron deposit, and some bear caves. So that's pretty nice. And let's see if we can. Your building opportunities have been expanded. There we go. Uh, meet our abode on this island of Goldford. <coughs> so we're going to want to start with, uh, I think, some dirt roads. Just gonna want to ooh, build up out here, and we want to place down. I think the first thing we really want to do is the marketplace, and then we're gonna want some housing around here. Oh, whoops! Let's get rid of that house. It's in an awkward position. Let's see, build these around here. We don't want too many at first, though. Otherwise, we'll run out of wood and run out of room. So let's do that. <coughs> and we're going to want some resources. So the first thing we're going to do is a lumberjack. So let's build some road out here to the forest. Going to build a lumberjack. And he's running at 100% productivity, which is good. And to get anything else, we're going to need more peasants. Got six peasants. That's one out of eight. One out of eight. They need company. There's no future oh, for us in your there's town. There's no road here. Okay. Uh, let's break down this housing here and bring the road up here and around uh, around. 
And then we can build some more housing Ooh. along the edge here. And we might as well just build a few there. <coughs> so we've got a lot of housing. Everyone seems to be pleased. They have food. Somehow. Uh, we might want to build a fisherman's hut down here. Uh, we might as well do two since we have the materials. And we want to make sure our people are well fed. And we'll bring the road across to both of them. So that should get us food. We have 20 peasants. We're going to need 60 before we can get a cider farm. Uh, and yes. So at the moment it's just kind of a waiting game. Just waiting for all of the resources Your people and are peasants. longing for company. People require access to them. Oh. Okay. Just get rid of this house since they have no access to the road. I think we'll, we'll break those two for now and then we'll move... Oops. We'll move them in a way where they're just on the verge. So we can fit in more housing. Like so. There we go. You're still want running at 100%. We might want to add another lumberjack further up. We can go all the way up here and add a lumberjack's hut. Should be able to run all right. Yep. And then we can add some more housing down here. Well, it won't interfere with the lumberjack, I hope. I don't want those there, actually. So let's see, you're going at 96, so yeah, that's in the way. Not a problem. So you're at 100, you're at 96, probably because of the road. So what we can actually do is go along there. Oh, a bit further. And then can build the road across here. And delete that. Oop. There we go. And that should now run at... Oh no, now it has no access to the market. There we go. So you're now running still at 96%. That that's confusing. Hmm. Maybe they're out of trees actually. Let's plant some uh, trees around here. Will that help? There we go. So you have to have trees around your lumberjack's hut for it to get wood. Makes sense. Our marketplace. Can we check the stocks? Ooh. Any essential rights will automatically be allocated. Okay. Now, for the houses to ascend... Let's see. Quite at 60 peasants, quite at 90 peasants. Can't remember how to check what's required to ascend the houses. We're currently at a loss because of the maintenance of buildings. So to make more gold we need more peasants. How are the houses doing? Are they all full? 888888. Eight, 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 eight. No, those Your are all building six. Have been expanded. Oh. New buildings. We can now make the cider farm. Okay. So the cider farm requires adequate fertility, which we have. Fertile for cider, hemp, and grapes. And we can plant an additional one. Uh, we're going to build it out a bit this way. I'm going to put it on the end here. That shouldn't interrupt with anything. Then we're going to add some fields. Oh. Hmm. Just don't want to work like that. Oh, that. 
There we go. Add some fields. That's at a hundred percent, and that's at a hundred percent. And let's click resumes production. Production will soon start. Anticipated productivity, a hundred percent. Okay. So we've got all our food and stuff. We've still got a high maintenance cost. Now uh, we're gonna want to maybe slightly raise taxes. So we can do that. I always knew coming to your town was a good idea. Ah, to advance we're gonna need 50% satisfaction or need for drink. Okay. Cultivation phase in progress. Takes a while. Hmm. <coughs> so we've got this at 100%. We're at 100. 100 and 100. We have our ship here, which will move a little bit. Okay, new buildings, new buildings. Get rid of you. A new island. Yep, we found that. And your population. Yep, got that. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm actually on the storyline. Okay, yeah, 100%. don't think I'm actually on the main story. Uh, just on a save. Just on a standard save game. Uh, but here we have the very basics. I think we might want a few more peasant houses. Can we rotate this? Oh, I can't remember how. There's a way to rotate. Nope. I uh, know. Okay, just add some more housing. That shouldn't interrupt that. Doesn't seem to have interrupted it. And that'll get us more peasants. Okay. Your current... So we've got zero honor, that makes sense because we haven't done anything much. Uh, let's grab our ship and we're going to go and look for some other islands. The ship's called Neptune. Interesting name. An island has been sighted. Ooh, let's see if there's... Uh -huh, this this is a deserty island, so it's rich for spices and silk and almonds. Uh, but there might already be someone here. We've got a quartz deposit. Um, there won't be any water here. Oh, there's some standard land here as well, which already has what looks like cows. Also have oysters. Wait, have a reef. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think we have the materials on the ship required to uh, land here. Build warehouse. Must be built on coast found settlement. Uh, but we have to... Before you can do that, you have to have some relation to... Oh, what are they called? Ah. Uh -huh. One of the um, one of the Oriental leaders, anyway. <clears throat> so we'll see if we can find any other islands. We'll quickly head back here. You're producing well. The people's oh no, stop it, ship. Let's head back here. Um, <clears throat> the people's need for drink is adequately satisfied. It's nearing high enough. 32, 35. I might have a voice in the background. <clears throat> They're euphoric. The taxes are slowly raising. They're regularly paying... Aha! Uh -huh, we're earning one gold coin. It's good. We're not losing any more. The drink has reached 45%. 47%. Can you reach 50%? You have reached 50%. Okay. Uh, we're going to reach 90 peasants. Uh, if our housing... Hopefully... Ooh, we can zoom in. Whoops. 
Hopefully the housing's not full. Let's see. Eight, 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 oh, seven, seven, and eight. So most of the housing is full. Gonna want a few more. You have more there. buildings available. Oh, there we go. We now have enough. Well done. Buildings. The progress <coughs> in your town is practically unstoppable. So for reaching settlement status, we got 50 honor, which I believe we can spend at. Um, we got the honor with Sir Richard. Something. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? You can always be sure Richard of a Northborough. hospitable welcome so here. So we can now buy improved sailcloth, cloth, which increases the ship speed. We can buy cider seeds, which we don't need. And... Ah! Here we go. Can be carried on board a ship to the Orient to purchase diplomatic ranks. These guarantee access to Oriental buildings. For 50 honor. So let's grab our ship. Because this is something we'll need. And we'll head up here. And then down here, everything seems to be going I've well. I've named one of my we, children after you. We need a chapel. So, <clears throat> for the chapel, we're going to need some wood. We currently have six wood. And our ship is making it up here. Uh, will he trade for wood? Welcome. He will. Ten gold will give us... 40 wood. That's actually pretty good. We'll have to do that. And I'll be in need of any tools. 26. Yep, we might grab some tools while we're up here as well. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you're here. We'll see a change item section. We don't want to do that right now. So, you, I would like you to try. I hope you find what you're looking for. Let's see, we can buy. Ooh, I'd have no objection to a fair deal. 10, 20, 30, 40. That's 400 gold. Oh, that's 40 of it. Okay, let's switch this to one at a time. Just want four. One ton of wood. Oh, 10 gold per ton. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we'll go for ten, and we'll want you. Thank Let's you. shake on it. And then we'll send our ship back here. There we go. Our people zero citizenships are in, uh, available. They don't satisfy the conditions. We're gonna need that chapel. Ah, and we have enough. Okay, so the chapel will actually the fit Grand perfectly Vizier there. Is waiting for you. Al Zahir is sure to be delighted with this token yeah, of your respect. The Grand Vizier, that's where we have to go. So, Citizens Fisherman's Hut. Are now also oh, there living we go. In your city. We have a citizen house. There we go. So they have a need for clothing. Your settlement wants for nothing. Fabulous. Oh, these cost honor, so... Emperor's Trade Edict. I think they just allow us to get access to more goods. And here we have Hemp Plantation, Weaver's Hut, Samson's Hut. I mean, Stonemason's Hut, I don't know why I said Samson's. And Cobblestone Streets. We're going to want a Stonemason's Hut eventually. Um, we've got another couple of citizens' houses. Oh, let's grab a road and build it around the back here. I want it to be like that. Let's grab a... Must be built near a stone deposit. One stone quarry can be built per stone deposit. Or mine, charcoal goes home. Okay, we're gonna need a. S Ooh, what's this? Road. We're gonna need a stone deposit. 
which we don't actually have. Oh no, we do. There's three stone deposits. So here we have a stone deposit. So to get there, we're going to need a small market building that reaches the range. So we'll have to get there. Just grab a road. Put that over there. So small market buildings allow you to expand the range of which you can build in. So the marketplace has its own range. Then you have your small market building. So from there, we then have the area for the mason's hut. Let's go to our ship and bring over the wood. And now we should be able to make a stone mason's hut. There we go. And then we can bring the road from there around there. Now we're losing gold again. The regular income isn't doing so well, let's see. Why is 120 for building maintenance and only 106 from taxes? No, 108. Okay, it's slowly going up. Let's see how the housing's doing. 14 out of 15, 12 out of 15, 9 out of 15, 10, 11. So people are still moving in and houses are still going up. Building is waiting to be allocated building materials. One wood and one tools. Why is it waiting? Weird. Okay, that should upgrade in a minute. That's 100%. 100% and 100%. This should also be 100%. Yep. Um, we will want some more buildings eventually, but we don't have enough materials. So we need a hemp plantation and a weaver's hut to get the clothing for the There's citizens. There's nowhere in the world finer than here. Mm-hmm. And the gold is still going down. Uh, new, now has the citizens, we know. New buildings are now available. Increase the diplomatic rank. Okay, so we're going to want to increase our diplomatic rank. We just need to find out where the Grand Vizier is. Uh, here we have another uninhabited island. Something is going on over here. No resources available on this island. Oh! Stop you. Which way is the ship going? Good. Okay. Something alerted me. Please there. accept my warmest greetings. Oh yeah, citizens. Okay, we now have a hundred honor, so we can also I am not only an advisor to the Emperor. His Majesty and I are also cousins. We're very close, you know. But so I don't envy him at all. He's rather lonely. Hmm. And what's more, he fears for his life. Hmm. Okay, so we can, uh, using 50 honor, unlock higher, uh, uh, higher diplomatic ranks in the Orient. Let's get our ship moving a bit more the golden roofs of the oh, orient are glittering on the horizon so we spotted salam alaikum welcome so to talk to him to find, here we go what brings you so we're going to want to come over here so where are you ship there you are down here you go oh, come on Here. Thank y'all. There we go. Welcome. And we'll be able to yeah. trade. Now he'll supply us spice seeds so that we can we can actually have spice on our island and not have to claim somewhere new. Nautical properties that are a ship are enhanced with these cheerful helmsmen on board. Us to whistle a tune. Reduce Are you slowdown. trying to assure me of your high regard? He'll also supply skillful shipmates, clay seeds, and studded planks. We will eventually need um, an oriental island. If you'd like to give him a token... The yep. people are starting to talk about you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're going I'll to our buildings. I'll tell the that you've made a successful initial approach to the orient. 
Okay. Come on. <laughs> Make yourself familiar with the construction of our buildings. So on Oriental Islands we'll need Take this ship oh. as a symbol of my growing trust in you. Thank you. Does it come with Oh, it comes with the materials we need to set up a new Oriental Island. Uh, but I don't think we want to do that in this episode. Uh, let me quickly check. Yep, the episode is done there. So, we've... Ooh, press P to continue. We've set up our uh, kind of area. So we have our uh, marketplace and our warehouses. We've got food sorted. We've got wood sorted. We've got stone sorted. And our... People have reached citizen level. Now we do need actually more food, so we'll quickly add another fisherman's hut. Let's see, where are you? Fisherman hut. There you are. Big fish. But apparently they're stopped production. Let's uh, go here. If you finish that road. These guys are full of fish, but the market men aren't coming here. So we're gonna send them the market carts so that they go here first. Uh, but I think that is it for the episode. So got all that done. We've also made friends with Salam alaikum. The Grand Vizier Al Zahir. I haven't gone into any of the Venice-based stuff yet, uh, but that will surely come. So I'll see you next episode when we start setting up our. Uh, Oriental Island. Bye-bye.